Hi, welcome back. As you saw a few weeks ago, we discussed the star prep and how to progress that into the star. I'm not sure if you've taken that up with some of your participants. Maybe you have, and I hope you're having great success with it. One of the things we do find is when we do plank work with the toe bar, a lot of people say, ow, my wrist hurts, even when you're doing weight bearing through your hands. Typically, I hear a lot of participants complain of that, and I also hear teachers say, well, you'll just get stronger and it will just go away. That's true, but let me tell you, having had wrist issues, that's not really the answer I'm looking for. So some things to help a person when they're learning this exercise or learning anything where you have to put weight through your wrist is look what's going on in the wrist. A lot of times, their hands are really kinked back. So when they're doing an exercise such as this, you have a lot of flexion through the wrist. The next thing is when you have that, I walk up and I say, wow, their elbows are super hyperextended. Can I have her keep a soft bend? Can I have her bring the heel of the hand over and eventually the thumb comes over so that you keep that straight position? If they're having trouble with exercises like the star and they're doing that movement pattern, there's nothing wrong with telling them to move to their forearm. So I teach this a lot when I do side kicks is that I have someone come and transition to their forearm and then I just have them take the leg and maybe just lift the leg up so they're more doing a star kick but they're really learning to strengthen through the shoulder girdle. Because yes, it's true, as you get stronger, the weight gets distributed into the shoulder girdle, into the abdominals and less pressure goes to the wrist. But if you tell someone that and not give them exercises to get them stronger here, they're never gonna feel that decrease in pain. So hopefully, having such a modification as this will help some of your participants. Another thing I'm gonna tell you is when you're doing exercises like long back stretch or long back preps, where their hands are on the toe bar like here, so I'm gonna have you straddle facing the tower. Typically, the exercise is taught palms face back. And then you're just gonna just, just do dips here. So you're just gonna dip down and up. And they'll say, my wrist hurt too much with that, I can't do it. Well, what I see tenant, common tendency is that is too much pressure on the wrist. So maybe just flipping the hands to face back might be the modification they need to do that exercise. Maybe it's just too much weight. So maybe what you need to learn to do is perhaps think, okay, how am I gonna keep the flow of the routine and have them still feel successful? Sometimes when they're doing exercises such as this, I would have them turn around facing away from the tower and they would lean back onto their backs They'd go onto their elbows from here, so their feet would be on the glide board. They'll go onto their elbows, and I'll have them lift their rear end up. And what I'm doing here is just focusing on shoulder stabilization, just like so. So they learn to start to stabilize through the shoulder. Maybe I might have them lift a leg, and the focus here is not on the glutes, not on the hips. That can be another emphasis and intention of the exercise, but it's more on what's going on here. I can also take her prone where she's resting on her forearms and have her work there as well. So those are just some tips of how to get that shoulder girdle stronger. So when they say, ow, my wrist really hurts, you give them exercises to strengthen so that eventually when they're doing the exercises on the toe bar, they're built for success.